Escomatic coil fed automatic lathe model D2 and D4. Setup operator training system. Lesson number one basic machine components. This training tape will describe the basic machine components for both the model D2 and D4 Escomatics. The purpose and location of the basic machine components will be given for each model machine. This is the stock derailleur located at the rear of the machine. The purpose of the stock derailleur is to hold the coil of stock as it is fed into the machine. As the stock is fed into the machine, the stock derailleur will rotate slowly. As the coil of stock is fed into the machine, it will first pass through the wire cleaner. The purpose of the wire cleaner is to clean and lubricate the stock as it is fed into the machine. After the coil stock is cleaned and lubricated in the wire cleaner, it will then pass through the stock straightener at the rear of the machine. The purpose of the stock straightener is to straighten the curve from the stock before it can be fed into the tooling area of the machine. Located under the stock straightener cover is the stock straightener slide. The stock straightener slide travels back and forth. The purpose of the stock straightener slide is to control the length of the coil straightened on each backward stroke. Located in the stock straightener slide is the stock straightener rotor. The stock straightener rotor rotates around the coil stock and moves back and forth with the straightener slide. The purpose of the stock straightener rotor is to rotate the stock straightener jaws around the coil stock to be straightened. This pulley and belt at the rear of the stock straightener rotor and the pulley and stock straightener motor located behind this cover provide drive to the straightener rotor. Different size pulleys for both the upper and lower pulley position are used to change straightener rotor speed. This is the coolant reservoir which holds the coolant supply for the cutting tools and drills. Located on top of the coolant reservoir is the coolant pump. The coolant pump starts with and runs as long as the main motor located in the base of the machine is running. On older machines, the coolant reservoir is located here in the base of the machine. Also located in the base of the machine is the coolant pump. The coolant pump is belt driven from a pulley on the back of the main motor located here. These are the stock clamping jaws located here at the front of the stock straightener. The purpose of the stock clamping jaws is to grip the stock just before the backward stroke of the straightener slide. This will prevent the stock from being pulled backwards, which will cause part length variations. The stock clamping jaws release the stock before the forward stroke of the straightener slide. Located here at the front of the stock straightener is the changeable stock support bushing. This bushing supports the stock as the stock leaves the stock straightener. Located below the stock straightener is the stock straightener camshaft. Mounted on the operator side of the stock straightener camshaft is the overbend straightener jaw cam. The purpose of the overbend straightener jaw cam is to control the bending of the coil stock on the return of the straightener slide. Mounted on the stock straightener camshaft on the back of the machine is the stock straightener slide cam and the straightener slide return cam. The purpose of the two cams is to control the straightener slide control lever, which controls the back and forth movement of the straightener slide. Also located on the back of the stock straightener camshaft is this stock clamping jaw cam and stock clamping jaw control lever. Their purpose is to control the opening and closing of the stock clamping jaws. Located here on the operator side of the machine are the two stock feed rolls. The purpose of the upper and lower feed rolls is to feed straightened stock into the cutting tools and drills. Straightened stock is clamped between the upper and lower feed rolls. Stock is then fed into the tooling area by the rotation of the feed rolls.
Rotation is transferred to the feed rolls by this friction clutch located behind the stock feed rolls. The friction clutch is engaged by a spring pressure to rotate the stock feed rolls. Hydraulic pressure disengages the friction clutch to stop the rotation of the stock feed rolls at the end of the stock feed cycle. Attached to the friction clutch is the stock feed attachment. The purpose of the stock feed attachment is to adjust the machined part length. There are two commonly used stock feed attachments. This is the 2 to 1 ratio attachment. The maximum feed length with a 2 to 1 ratio attachment is approximately 1 inch. This is the 1 to 1 ratio attachment. The maximum feed length with a 1 to 1 attachment is 2 inches. Located at the back of the machine is the hydraulic control unit. The purpose of the hydraulic control unit is to control the disengaging of the friction clutch at the end of the stock feeding. Located here is the hydraulic plunger. The purpose of the hydraulic plunger is to cause the hydraulic pressure to disengage the friction clutch. The friction clutch is disengaged on the forward movement of the hydraulic plunger. This is the main camshaft located here on the Model D4 Eskimatic. Cams mounted on the Model D4 main camshaft are the friction clutch cam, second feed cam or return cam, first feed cam, and chain and sprocket wheel. Cams mounted on the Model D2 are the same except a counter collet cam and cam holder are mounted in place of the chain and sprocket wheel on the Model D4. Located on the operator side of the machine is this cam and chain cover. Behind the cover is the end of the main camshaft. Mounted here are tool cam number one, tool cam number two, and the chain and sprocket wheel. The chain and sprocket wheel provide drive to the stock straightener camshaft. Located here on the back of the machine is the main gearbox for the machine. Four production rate gears are mounted in the main gearbox. The purpose of the production rate gears is to control the speed of rotation of the main camshaft. The speed of the main camshaft controls the part per minute production rate of the machine. The production rate gears are driven by belts from the back of the main motor in the base of the machine. Located behind the counter collet attachment on the Model D2 and behind the drill turret on the Model D4 is the rotating tool head. Mounted on the front of the rotating tool head are the two tool holders. Each of the tool holders will hold one triangular shaped carbide tool or this special knurl tool. Located here in the center of the tool head is the changeable stock guide bushing. The purpose of the stock guide bushing is to support the stock while machining operations are performed. The stock guide bushing is changed to fit each stock size used for a particular job. Drive for the tool head comes from the main motor in the base of the machine. The tool head will rotate the two tools around the non-rotating stock as the stock guide bushing supports the stock. Located on the front of the Model D4 schematic is the indexable drill turret. The purpose of the indexable drill turret is to perform both drilling and counter collet functions. Located on the indexable drill turret are two driven drill spindles. Also located on the drill turret is this adjustable counter collet. The purpose of the D4 counter collet assembly is to hold the finished part at cutoff 
and eject the finished part after index. This is the drill turret camshaft. The drill turret camshaft is chain driven from the main camshaft on the Model D4. Cams located on the drill turret camshaft are the counter collet cam and two drill cams, one cam for each spindle. Mounted on the back side of the drill turret camshaft are the index trip dogs. The purpose of the index trip dog is to control the timing for each index of the drill turret. Located behind the index trip dogs are the two collet open and close trip dogs. The trip dogs control the timing of the collet open and close. Located on the front of the model D2 schematic is the counter collet attachment. This is the counter collet carrier plate. The counter collet assembly is mounted here on the counter collet carrier plate. The purpose of the D2 counter collet mounted in the counter collet assembly is to hold the finished part during cutoff. Located in the machine base for the Model D4 is the machine drive. Drive for the rotating tool head pulleys, drill spindle pulleys, and main camshaft pulleys are distributed from the main motor. Located in the machine base for the Model D2 is the machine drive. Drive for the rotating tool head pulleys and main camshaft pulleys are distributed from the main motor. This completes your television training tape on basic machine components. You may watch this tape as many times as necessary to fully understand the material. After you have finished, return to the operator booklet for your next step.